Fifth, the ideal church is one in which each member of the congregation endeavors to serve the others in love, as the Holy Apostle teaches us, for you, brethren, have been called to liberty. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. Oftentimes a distinction is made in parishes between servants and laypersons, as though such a distinction should exist. If the master made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men, and later poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel in which he was girded, how can any one of us escape the blessing of service? Are we greater than the master? In an ideal church, every person is involved in the service in some way according to the talents God has given him.